Some of you um, know this, and some of you know Drake, have been to our house, um, but our older dog, Drake, died last night. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Super sad thing. I actually apologize because I know some of you in this room have lost dogs too. And I'd feel like I've been just so un anything. When anybody else loses a dog or loses someone in their life, it seems like you're disconnected from it. And I've just been like disconnected from that. And I apologize if I've done that to any of you. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just found it amazing. You know, we were at my grandpa's 90th birthday party uh, in the Bay Area yesterday, and we came back, and like probably 15 minutes after we got home, um, I was praying outside, and my wife came and said, hey, you better come inside. And so I came inside, and he was like, he was in the process of dying. And so I just held him, and it was, it was a hard moment, but it was such a sweet moment. I was just holding him and feeling his heart beat, feeling the life in him, and seeing it in his eyes. And I just thanked him for what a good dog he was. Mm. Yeah. It was, it was so sweet to be there with him. It really was. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it was incredible because just holding him, like I was there in the moment that his life left him, you know? I was just feeling his heartbeat. It was beating, 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 and I was just holding him. And then he was gone. I was like, wow, like, it's a powerful moment. Oh. But, you know, it just made me think about life. So many times we question God in his goodness and his faithfulness in all the things of life. When somebody dies, somebody close to us dies, when some, something like this happens, we have a dog die, like we question God. And man, in that moment, I was just like, just heartbroken. Oh, but still just so grateful for the time I had with him, you know? I was grateful that he was a dog worth crying over. And uh, anyway, I just started thinking about life, and just how short it is and how easily it could be taken away, you know? And yet how in control of it God is, you know? Like God was so sweet that he let us come home from two hours away when he had already been laying on the ground, dying for three days, basically. And yet we came home, 15 minutes later, he's gone, you know? And just how sweet that was just to have that time with him. Yeah which was such a blessing. Um, but in, in that, show me how in control God is. Yeah, thank you, sweetheart. Appreciate it. I'm like, I'm leaking here. Yeah. Oh, it was just so sweet how awesome God was in that moment. And yeah, of course, in my heart questioning, like, God, like, why? You know, that's the question that always comes up. God, why? Why do you do these things? But you know, in death, God uses it to draw us to him. We understand that this, this life doesn't last forever. We understand that there has to be something else. And we see that no one can take a person, no one can take any life unless God ordains it. 
God is the one in control. And so if you take him out of life, if you take him out of your worldview, what do you have? You have nothing left. He's the thing that makes everything else make sense. He truly is. And so many times we push him off saying, oh, no, there's, there's something else out there. There's something different. I don't need God. Like we understand that there's not a God now because we're smart. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When you know God and you have a relationship with him, it makes everything else make sense. But as soon as you push him out of your life, everything else stops making sense because you're pushing away the thing that is holding life together. 